the previous video i showed you how to create a cluster on gcp which is ready now in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to deploy the application on top of this cluster using kubernetes now the application that i want to deploy is already available uh, with as an image and that's what i have to start with so this is the application stack and i have images for each of the application i'm going to deploy just one of these applications or one of the services out of let's say four microservices i already have an image the image already has been tagged so i'm going to deploy the latest version of the front end application so i go to workloads click on deploy and all i have to provide is the container image here in fact if you look at the right hand side it also tells you that you have to have an image ready in order to deploy that so in the container image box i add my image and the tag that is call and latest uh, no environments or anything else that i want to provide initial command is already defined in the image if i want to override that i can use it here and then i change the name of the application that's the uh, name the deployment is going to be created with uh, if you want to add or uh, labels or tag those you can do that as well and i'm going to keep, keep everything else uh, simple and just click on deploy so it is creating pods etc right now and on the right hand side you will also note see what is happening what it creates if you want to get an understanding of what actually happens you can look at that uh, image and try and figure out uh, understand what is happening behind the scenes now this is the deployment which has been created so i have uh, deployed my workload and when it deploys that it creates it with the high availability as well because it has three application three instances and that's what i see uh, if i scroll down in the managed pod section i see three pods which means that three instances of that image or my application are running in a high available manner it also has configured the auto scaler with the default uh, cpu configuration so if the cpu utilization goes above 80 percent it is automatically going to launch new instances so google compute engine not only creates the deployment here but also which in turn creates the pods in a you know high available manner it also gives you a way to scale automatically and that's what i see here so if i go back to workloads this is where i see the number of pods being deployed here and the type is deployment as well and uh, i should see the graphs being updated in a few minutes now from now so once i start using and consuming uh, these pods and the application i should see the you know the traffic being generated and cpu memory disk being updated so if you look at the right hand side you'll see the deployment spots etc services here now it's time to publish or expose that application it is important step in order to access that from outside so it will create a load balancer i have three ports but it will create a load balancer this is called as service so i need to define which port i want to map this from the load balancer to the actual ports the load balancer port is going to be the one I'm going to access from outside. So I'll just pick 80 port instead of a specific application port so that it makes it easy for me to just use the IP address and uh, port 80 HTTP and it will point to the application. To find out which port the application runs on, you need to know which port has been exposed as part of the application image, which is typically provided in docker file so docker file has this port number which is which has been exposed that is 8079 so inside each of the container the application is going to run on 8079 which i'm going to make available using load balancer um, that is google cloud engine or google compute engine is going to create a load balancer on its own platform and forward that 80 port to 8079 on each of my pods or containers i'm going to explain what pods are and how do they uh, how are they related to containers but we are trying to expose this application first and see how this actually works at a top level and now that the service is created with name frontend hyphen service i should be able to access it using the load balancer ip and the port that i defined in the configuration which is port 80. so i see that external endpoint and the load balancer ip which is same um, the same ip and the endpoint is with the port so i can access the application i should be able to access that application using the endpoint 
or the public IP colon 80. So I pick the public IP, it's going to port 80 anyways, and there I see my application deployed. This is my first service, which is the front end. This is just a front end, which is a scaffold, but it has been successfully deployed in a high available manner on Kubernetes cluster created using Google Compute Platform. Now, if I go back and look at the details of the service, I see the labels, I see some type of load balancer, I see some IP addresses defined, and uh, if this is the YAML code. So Kubernetes accepts a, a YAML file. Now, we didn't have to write this one because Google Compute Engine accepted our you know uh, inputs through a form and converted into this YAML format. But if you're gonna create your own Kubernetes cluster and start getting uh, diving deeper into it, you need to start understanding the YAML that is uh, that you, you could see here or explore from here. For now, we're just going to keep it simple, deploy everything through Google Compute Engine and uh, try and understand what actually happened here. And that's my service created. And I have deployed the application using two things. One is the workload, which is which created deployment and the service which published my application.